100,000 ton displacement. $13 billion price tag. Twenty-five years, no refueling. This U.S. laser aircraft carrier is ready to beat China. U.S. and China, talks of impending war are never far from the news. A Chinese balloon was spotted floating above the U.S., allegedly spying, and now China has been caught using full-size mock-ups of U.S. aircraft carriers for target practice. Located in the Taklamakan Desert of northwestern China, which show how effective Chinese hypersonic missiles could be against America's supercarriers. The USS Gerald Ford supercarrier, for instance, with 100,000 tons of displacement and a price tag of $13 billion, stands as the largest, most expensive, most intimidating, and most lethal aircraft carrier ever built. The supercarrier packs more air power than the entire air forces of at least 60 nations. It can run for 25 years without refueling, and it is protected by an endless inventory of built-in defenses along with an armada of 10-plus cruisers, destroyers, frigates, and submarines. Yet, if China's hypersonic missiles are even half as powerful as is reported, the USS Gerald Ford could be destroyed in one strike. To defend its fleet against possible attacks from Chinese hypersonic missiles, the U.S. Navy has now spent hundreds of millions of dollars developing a weapon that strikes so quickly it makes hypersonic missiles look slow. This is the laser weapon, designed to be integrated into aircraft carriers and other ships. This is America's response to China. Rising Tensions Tensions have continued to riddle the relationship between the U.S. and China particularly as a result of China's undying wish to absorb Taiwan into its territory and the U.S.'s unrelenting desire to ensure Taiwan remains a free state. U.S. President Joe Biden hasn't held back on that front. In December 2022, he signed a defense spending bill that included up to $10 billion in assistance for Taiwan. In addition to Taiwan, China claims sovereignty over nearly all of the South China Sea extending thousands of miles from its own shores. However, international law, enforced by the U.S., recognizes territorial claims of only 12 nautical miles offshore. These territorial lines remain heavily disputed, so much so that it appears America's naval presence is the only thing preventing China from taking a more explosive aim at foreign movement in the waters. President Biden already made it clear that the U.S. would intervene should China mount an unprovoked attack on American allies. But perhaps the biggest American revolt against China's claim is former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's recent visit to Taiwan, despite China's displeasure. In response, during the visit, China fired a DF-17 missile only 75 miles from Taiwan in what was referred to as a test. But outside China's shores, it was considered more of a message and a reminder of what China's military capabilities had grown into. The 36-foot-long, 33,000-pound DF-17 missile, which was fired, is a mature hypersonic missile that has been tested seven times with 100% success. It has a maximum range of 1,600 miles, a flight ceiling of 197,000 feet, and like every true hypersonic missile, can maneuver throughout flight to evade air defense. China also has the Xing Kong-2 Wave Rider hypersonic missile, which boasts a maximum range of 6,200 miles and a flight ceiling of 98,000 feet, in addition to its Mach 6 Plus top speed. These two missiles have put China in the lead against the U.S. in the race for operational hypersonic missiles. Currently, China's only rival in this regard remains Russia with the 3M22 Zircon, which has a top speed of Mach 9, the KH-47M2 Kinzhal, which has a top speed of Mach 12, and the Avant-Garde, which has a top speed of Mach 27. In fact, Russia entered the history books in 2022 as the first country to use a hypersonic missile in conflict. 
when the country fired a KH-47 M2 Kinzhal at a target in Ukraine during the invasion of the country. Russia and China have clearly hit the ground running in the hypersonic missile space. Their weapons have left those of the U.S. in the dust, quite literally. This could be because the U.S. is significantly more focused on laser-directed energy weapons than hypersonic missiles. And although China has developed its 30-kilowatt LW-30 laser weapon to a point where it can counter drones, missiles, and low-flying aircraft, the U.S. remains unrivaled when it comes to laser weapons, thanks to decades of a head start. In fact, the U.S. Navy has already tested and approved a laser weapon that's 400% more powerful than that of China. This laser weapon is the High Energy Laser with Optical Dazzler and Surveillance, or HELIOS for short, and it is currently deployed to burn down the widest range of threats from the deck of the USS Preble destroyer. HELIOS Development on Destroyer HELIOS is a 60 to 120 kilowatt high-energy laser weapon developed by industry leader Lockheed Martin, whose 40-year experience in directed energy hadn't gone unnoticed by the Navy. HELIOS's development contract, amounting to $150 million, was issued in 2018, and by 2022, the weapon was ready for installation, testing, and trials. Helios was installed on the Burke-class destroyer USS Preble, where it replaced a 20mm Vulcan cannon-armed MK-15 Phalanx closed-in weapon system on the frontal section of the ship. With the installation complete, the $19 trillion testing and trials were next. From its vantage point on the ship, Helios would counter unmanned aerial systems and small boats from over 5 miles away. These targets, especially when operating in swarms, have proven too major to ignore but too cheap to destroy using million-dollar American missiles at a proportionate cost. Like every advanced laser weapon, Helios has a low cost of fire, reportedly within the price range of a cup of coffee. This would tilt the balance back in the favor of the U.S. military. In addition to affordable destruction, Helios firing a laser, which is a form of light, would strike its targets at the speed of 186,000 miles per second. The universal speed limit, meaning no projectile, drone, fighter jet, or hypersonic missile could come close to outrunning it. But Helios isn't all about grilling a target till it crashes. It's far more than that. It's also a dazzler that obscures adversarial spying and attacks by blinding sensors and confusing missiles. Helios is also a tool to support long-range intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. Its sensors will be part of an integrated weapon system known as Aegis. Aegis is the Navy's most advanced surface combat system. It provides decision-makers with sufficient information to make calculated decisions and determine optimal solutions. This improves the overall survivability of ships that wield the Helios, be it the USS Preble, other Burke-class destroyers, big deck amphibious ships, or aircraft carriers such as the USS Gerald Ford. Helios on USS Gerald Ford The U.S. Navy cannot afford to lose the USS Gerald Ford, figuratively and literally. It does cost $13 billion, and so losing it is synonymous with potentially losing an entire city, along with hundreds of millions of dollars worth of aircraft, and worst of all, the ship's brave complement of 4,539 people. The supercarrier must be defended by defense systems that can't be evaded, can't be outrun, and simply can't lose. The Helios fits this description to a good degree, and so is a strong contender for laser-based defender of the USS Ford. However, there is a worry that while Helios could counter a wide range of targets, hypersonic missiles, which are already designed to withstand high 1,000 plus degree temperatures inherent to hypersonic flight, would be immune to Helios lasers. Therefore, the Navy is developing another laser weapon in the High Energy Laser Counter ASCM program, which features a 300 kilowatt laser that's at least twice as powerful as that of the Helios and another 1 megawatt laser, which is being developed by Northrop Grumman. All signs point toward a laser aircraft carrier from the U.S. that would be able to spot, track, and evaporate Chinese hypersonic missiles out of the sky. This capability would finally give the world an answer to the question of which weapon is the next big thing, hypersonic missiles or laser weapons? 
To know which would dominate the future, subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. Only then would the answer become obvious to us all. Thanks for watching.